What's going on guys, it's been ages since the last video, and this here is the reason why. Oh my god. Now I'm assuming quite a lot of you have no idea what the hell this thing actually is. So let me give you a little bit of a rundown. Uh, about a whole two months ago, I decided that, hey, I'd build myself a computer in a fish tank. And then I was like, you know, I want a cool idea. So I put some oil in it. Uh, now this right here is a mineral oil cooled PC. So pretty much we've got... Everyone's gonna be like, how, how, it makes no sense how it works. So what it is, uh, is my PC, like just my PC that was down there on the floor, now long, no longer exists, apart from the implant it's made. Uh, this here, right, is a PC in a fish tank, so my PC um, with mineral oil in. Now mineral oil is a non-conductive uh, liquid, so it kind of works somehow. I don't, see, I don't understand, it's kind of scary to see your computer in like a fish tank of liquid. I mean, I don't even know how it works, but it, but it does. So that's pretty, pretty damn cool. Now, I know there's gonna be lots and lots of questions, so feel free to uh, drop them in the comment section. And this is kind of like a little rough setup tour, so it's not really complete yet. There's lots of things I'm going to be changing and still have to change and sort out. So maybe I'll do another video later on when it's completed uh, with answering some of your questions or something like that. So leave them in the just wait, comment, comment, set, god damn it. In the comment section, go and hit that like button, uh, as this isn't something I upload very often, things like this. It's pretty damn nuts. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button, I really appreciate it. Helps my channel grow and stuff, bro. Uh, but okay, so, right, what's going on here? We've got, pretty much, it's basically just a normal PC. Everything is pretty much standard here. Um, if we take off this, this thing, god damn it, the cover, now, it, I told you, it's not completely done yet, so we still have a few things to change, and this is definitely one of them, the turn on switch. As you can see, it's from my old case, so, uh, <laughs> it's still, that's definitely gonna change, alright, don't look at that, just, I'll just put it down, get out of here. Um, so, okay, what we got is the back plate from my old PC case, you can see here, as a bit dark, hopefully, it'll, wait, it can't tap here, no, okay, that's not gonna work. Uh, but pretty much it's the back plate from my old PC, which I have kind of stolen, I've like chopped apart and used to hold all the components onto it um, and like kind of screw my motherboard to it. So that's pretty damn sick. We've also got a three terabyte hard drive here. The mechanical hard drives, uh, they spin really, really quick. So putting them in oil would be a very bad idea. So mine, if you could like see here, is just above the oil. Now we have got a little case around it, like a little plastic thingy here. Um, this oil is kind of really strange. It like, is, if, if it touches something, literally if I put my hand in there, I will be covered in oil in 10 minutes. I don't understand how it does it. It's very creepy. Uh, it's a creepy oil. Hey, you see what I did there? But uh, what we've got um, is, yeah, a three terabyte hard drive, because I decided, you know, let's buy a big one to store everything on as, you know, I can't really upgrade this. I mean, this is basically, gonna be my PC for the next, uh, yeah, I don't know how long, as long as it lasts, basically. I can't upgrade it, taking it out, just being an absolute pain in the ass, and uh, changing anything would be ridiculous. I mean, I haven't had any issues with it yet, so uh, fingers crossed it stays up and running like a boss. Now, if we turn on real quick here, how, if we run something, now temperatures, I know a lot of you may be asking, is this, what's the benefits? Now, temperatures are actually a lot cooler. The CPU does have, uh, it does get a bit warm, I'd say about the same as you would in air. Um, just simply, I don't know why, it just can't be cooler that way. I guess it's like a tiny little chip or something. Something crappy. So we got a, we got an Intel i7 477K overclocked to four gigahertz. Uh, I mean, it's like idling now, but it has been on all day. So it would heat up the oil a little bit. It's running at 36 Celsius, which I suppose it's not cool, but it's not, it's not bad for it considering it's been turned on all day and heating up the oil. And if you actually put your hand on it, it's kind of like warm. It's really, it's really odd. Uh, do graphics cut the hand playing games so they are a bit warmer. 43 and 437. Now a lot of you may ask me what the hell are these mahoosive things here. These are actually my graphics cards. Yes, they're pretty damn beasty. Look at those things. Oh my god. They are a, they're, they're both the same. They are a, what are they, what are they called? Uh, AMD R9 Radeon thingy. Uh, 390X, that's what they are. Now, one of these cards, I'd highly recommend it. It runs like a boss when you just have one. But in crossfire mode, they completely suck ass. I don't know why. Um, I'm pretty sure that I have everything set up. I've been in contact with MSI and seen an AMD, see if they have any suggestions. But they just, they literally don't work. So, no, don't buy two. It's just a bad idea. Um, so if we run, hang on, is that what's it called? 
we want to run like a uh, the benchmark here real quick just to just to show you guys what's going on so I don't know if you'll be able to see this but uh, if you look I mean I can see it with my eye but when it gets really hot the oil kind of ripples around because I got cold air coming in cold oil coming in here which is basically what's happening is getting sucked in from up here and then it's lifted up through this pipe from this pump down here who's just running like a boss uh, taken out here into the radiators which are back here and then you can't really see it that well but they're kind of cooled uh, with fans here and it puts in cold oil back into there now if we look at these graphics cards you notice that they're spinning really slowly now a lot of you will be like what the hell is going on there that is basically right just a um it's like the drag of the oil kind of acting up against it uh, now it does, it probably will wear out the motors a little bit, but because it's in oil, it kind of like lubricates them a little bit and makes it a lot better. I don't think you'd be able to see it on the camera. It's gonna have to be, now you can't, but as you can see, you might be able to see it. There's like little ripples in there. It's like, goddamn, it's, look, it's like ripply. It might just look crappy on the camera, but it kind of, um, it's really cool. Because uh, the, like what's it called, the cold oil is coming in and hitting the hot oil, it makes like a ripple effect, which is totally awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what we've got going on here. We'll just check out the other thing. We've got some random ass crappy monitor here. Another random ass crappy monitor here. My main monitor is to do all my gaming on, so it doesn't really need to be, um, these other two don't really need to be that good, to be honest. We got a C920 webcam, a, what are these called? A Razer Death, one of them's a Death Stalker, and that's the mouse, uh, maybe the Death Stalker. And, oh no, that's the Death Adder, I think. And then that's the Death Stalker, pretty sure. Then I got a fake Razer mouse map which um, I decided I'd buy from China and it's a complete piece of crap, I'm not even kidding. Don't buy fake Razer mouse mats from China, they're not good, trust me. Uh, I've got an old Xbox 360, I don't have any of the new consoles, so I decided I'd upgrade my PC and make it a boss. So that's what we've got going on. Astro Air 50 headset, a jellyfish, which I do plan on putting in there somehow, but I'm kind of worried that it's gonna get like dragged up in the fans and that would be a real mess. Jelly jellyfish tentacles in the fans. We've got a snowball thing here. Uh, transmitter. We have to have a wire, uh, what are they called? An external, uh, well, uh, well, like disc things, because obviously I can't, there's nowhere to put it anymore, right? We've run out of space, it's back, so I've got an external one, which isn't that big of an issue, I don't really need it that much. Um, and just for my convenience, I've got like a little, you can see that, there we go. We've got um, a four port 3.0 USB thing, so I don't have to keep lifting off the top and plug it in, which is really actually really handy. So there we go, people. This right here, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section, but uh, if we're just running the specs once more, so I don't know if I actually covered them all, I've kind of been like saying this throughout the video, we got an Intel i7, i4, 7, 7.7, 77K, whatever it's called, uh, overclocked to four gigahertz, we've got a, what they, a Z97, I think it's, Z, what is it, Z, Z97 SS, uh, crate edition motherboard from MSI, which is pretty sick. Now, none of these parts were given to me for free, so don't be like, oh, he's so sponsored, bruh. I bought these all, and they cost me a lot of goddamn money. But uh, we got one well, of these Hyper RAM from someone, not really sure. They're 1866 megahertz, 16 gigabyte down there. So I just upgraded to 16 because I'm not really gonna be able to get in the chance to change that. I mean, it's literally at the bottom of the tank, so it's kind of difficult. A uh, thousand watt power supply, running all this monster. That's pretty sick. I was really debating whether to put this in the oil or not, but I decided, hey, why not? Let's just chuck it in. Go for it, and we got obviously these two R9390Xs running over here. Oh my god, they're absolute monsters. Now, we should probably exit this. What's, good? What's the temperature? See, look at this. We've been running this stress. This right here is a stress test. Now, it's probably not going to focus, but it is crystal clear. I mean, if you want to test on your PC, I think it's called Eugene Valley or something. So you can download it. I think I'm pretty sure it's free. Um, you can just stress test your PC, which benchmarks it. Two graphics cards running on pretty much non-stop. We got 53 Celsius on this first one, which is just, it's it, like, that is freaking ridiculous. And on the second one, 51 Celsius. I mean, for these, like, kind of, th that amount of power, like 250 watts going into each one, um, and them to stay that cool is absolutely insane. If I was running this in, like, an air-based environment, uh, they, they'd easily get over 80 Celsius. So, uh, yeah, there we go. That is how we do it. It keeps them way, way, way cooler than it would if I were in an air-based one. But CPU is a bit of an issue, but we will figure that one out. As we can see down here, we've got 
a little bit of uh, whatever these things are. My little rocks, Bibles on. It's not really a focus. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that crisp, crisp layer. Got some pebbles to make it look pretty. And we've got my LED lighting there to make the tank, which we can actually change if I, uh, if I grab this here. We've got loads of different colors. We've got a bit of, wait, where is it? we got some red, which is not bad. A bit dark though. we got some razor green. That's how we do it up in the crib. Why is this freaking focus, man? Razor green, that is how we do it. I like it, I'm liking that. It kind of matches the other green things around. I like that. Pretty cool. Uh, we got some blue and I have normally on the white, which actually kind of looks a bit of a blue tint as well. We can change it. I was gonna have this for my video, but it kind of looks like it's flickering on the camera. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, it basically fades between the colors. It looks like it's having like a stroke on the camera for some reason, I don't, I don't know what's going on there. Or we can have it like a party mode where it literally does just flash. I don't know why you'd want that. Maybe you know, you're trying to kill yourself or something. But uh, yeah, there we go. I think that basically, I think I, we gotta turn that off before I pass out. All right, okay, I think I've covered everything, people. Uh, just that is like the coolest thing about how this, like how slow, I can't really get it that well because it's so dark, but how slow these things spin is just absolutely nuts. I mean, no, that's wrong one. Uh, it's just absolutely crazy. It's, I mean, it's seriously, it's taken me ages and the oil is seriously, seriously expensive. Uh, for what it is. I'm not going to mention how much it is because I honestly have no idea how much it will cost to uh, to do it. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that button, share, share around with your friends, subscribe if you're new, and uh, I will see you guys in the future videos. Goodbye.